Okay, well, welcome back to PALS TV, everyone. Um, we'll be kicking off our afternoon segment down at Art Outside the Lines with Layla, Audrey, and Bianca. Been talking all day about Mother's Day and celebrating Mother's Day this weekend. And I know we're going to do some fun crafts down there around Mother's Day. It's very important to me. Um, my mom's my role model. So if you have the chance to celebrate your mom this weekend, please do that. Um, I know it, it's a little bit different this year, but in any way, if you can send them something and just make sure you, you tell them how much you appreciate them and how important they are to, to you and, and, and all of us. So thanks again to all the mothers out there um, and Layla for coming on here and putting together a, a program for us. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. So live from Art Outside the Lines in downtown Columbus. We have Layla, Audrey, and Bianca. Hey guys. Hi. So today's segment is going to be focused on um, making some arts and crafts that are super easy to do at home. And Layla has come up with some really awesome ideas. So she'll be demonstrating the first two. And um, I'll let you take the floor, Layla. Um, the first one is an origami fortune teller. If you don't already have a square piece of paper, you can cut a regular piece of paper to be a square. Can everyone hear Layla okay? Can you give me a thumbs up? Cool. And then you fold the corners in to the other corner. Layla's using construction paper, but you can use just a regular piece yeah, of any, paper. Yeah, any paper. Works. You want to fold it like that and then fold it like that to the other side. And then you fold the corners into the middle. Has anyone ever done a fortune teller craft before? No. These are really fun. After you fold it, it should look something like this. And then you want to flip to the other side and fold the corners in on the other side. So she's folding the corners again. And then it should look like this. And then you want to fold it in half. Like this. And the outside should look like this. And then there's little pockets. You want to put your fingers in it, kind of fold it in half, and just go up and out like that. And then if you want, you can take a marker or a Sharpie and write down colors. But I have made one before and it has red, green, blue, and pink on it. Do you have fortunes in there too? Yes. Okay, so Layla was wondering if there's anyone out there that wants their fortune told by her. So does anyone want to raise their hand and I'll unmute you? Lauren, awesome. Okay. Hold on. I'm unmuted. Hello? Oh, awesome. Can you hear okay. me? Okay. So, yep, we can hear you. Okay. Red, green, cool. blue, or pink? Red, 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 green, blue, or pink? Red. R so she spells R-E-D with her hands. 
No, eight, mm -hmm. seven, three, or four. Eight, seven, three, or four. Seven. One, two, five, or six. Five. Five? Okay. You have a dance party. You're dance gonna, party. You're gonna have a dance party soon in your future. That's what the fortune says. <laughs> awesome. Nice. nice. All right, is there anyone else that wants their fortune told? Caitlin, all right. All right, Caitlin. Red, pink, blue, or green? Blue. I think it's frozen. Oh, blue. blue One, two, five, or six? Five. To five. Eight, seven, three, or four? Eight. Eight, seven, three, or four? Eight. I said, I, said, I said eight. You have your favorite food for dinner. Oh. Favorite food? For You're going to have your favorite dinner. food for dinner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. All right, George Ripple. All right, Georgie. Be on Green, go. red, pink, or blue? <laughs> Green, red, Green. pink, or blue? Green. Four, three, seven, or eight? Four, eight. three, seven, or eight? Eight. Eight, seven, four, three. Four. Eight, okay, four. four. You will have a great day. Oh, you're gonna have a great day, George. That's what your fortune says. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <Good fortune. laughs> All right, is there anyone else out there that wants their fortune told by Layla? Gila and Kels. All right, let's do Gila first and then we'll do Kels. Okay, okay, Gila. Pink, blue, green, or red? I said black. Pink, blue, green, or red? Red. Black. Eight, seven, three, or four? Eight, seven, three, or four? Blue. Four. <laughs> what number? Four. Four. All right, eight, four again. What? You're going to have a great day, Gila. That's your fortune. All right. Woo! All right, and then Kels. Do you want to do one, Kels? All right, we're going to get Kels up in here. All right, Kelsey, pick a color. Pink, red, green, um, blue. I'll pick a red. I pick one, uh, pink one. Red. Seven, eight, three, or four. Eight. I think she, um, eight, good job. Let's do eight. One, two, five, or six. Um, one, two, five, or six. Six. Five. Okay. I'll do the five, please. Five, awesome. Good job, Kels. We'll have a dance party. Oh, you're going to have a dance party later. Woo! And dinner. That's right, girl. <laughs> All right, is there anyone else that wants their fortune told by Miss Layla? Does anyone have any questions on how to make this? Because it's super easy to make at home, and you guys could do it to your family or to your roommates. Anyone have any questions for her? All right, awesome. She's gonna move on to the next craft. And that's gonna be this, making these. Can you guys see those flowers? Put it up a little closer. Yeah. Cool. All you need is some string, paint, paintbrush, and paper. 
Um, so you can pick as many colors as you want. I'm gonna choose four colors. I'm gonna. Huh? You, need a white paper. Um, you can have any color of paper. Um, I'm gonna choose purple, yellow, pink, and blue. And then what you want is you want to grab a string. And then you want to paint it one of your colors. So you can use any kind of string. You could use like a, you could even use a fishing. shoelace, fishing string. I'm just kind of want to paint it. Okay. So now she's painting over it. You show them after. Yeah. What you can do is just lay the string down and just kind of dab the paint onto it and kind of mix it around. And then if it gets all bundled up, you can hold the edge with the paintbrush and it'll come unlooped. And then your string will be painted. Okay. And then you want to lay it down in any pattern you want. And then you want to make sure that you have an edge unpainted so that when you pull it, you don't, you can have as less paint on your hand as possible. And then you just repeat that with all your other colors. So our first color we used purple. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to use some yellow. And it's easier to have two paint paint brushes while so while the other one is um by the other one's paint is coming off so it can be clean you can use another one and not have to wait for it then you just want to paint that one the other one's kind of dry <laughs> By the way, Layla's wearing super cute clothes. I suggest you wear paint clothes when you do these kinds of crafts. <laughs> yeah. And then you just want to lay that on your paper too. You can lay it on the other side or on top of your other one. It does not matter. And then put that one in the water. The other one should be clean. And then you want to take your, one of your other colors. So she chose pink. So we have yellow, purple, and pink. And blue. And blue. Let's take another string. And then just do this one for each color. And it doesn't matter if you have a soft paintbrush, a hard paintbrush. You don't need, and if you want, you can just pour a little bit of paint in a bowl and dip the string into it. If you don't want to ruin your paintbrushes, though, should you keep them in the water? Yes. And then, last color, blue. Okay, so the last color is blue. This one still has some yellow. And then we pick now. Okay, so she's using a paper towel to clean off her brush.
Now she's painting the other string blue. Then put it back on our two. Then fold the paper in half. Okay. Grab the strings and then you pull it out. So she's pulling out the strings, setting them aside. And you open up. <gasps> That's so cool, Layla. So cool. Nice. Give Layla a thumbs up if you think that's really cool. Oh, no one? <laughs> <laughs> Can everyone hear me? Georgie does. Awesome. Okay, Georgie good. Georgie does. Hey, hey, Are we lagging at all, you guys? I hope we're okay. Sometimes when there's multiple people, it will lag a little bit. Okay. All right, so also speaking of Mother's Day and just all around care day, um, this is a great way to make a card for someone that you love. Mm -hmm. So you could write like, happy Mother's Day, or I love you, or any kind of note. And then they open it up and they see this awesome craft in it. So that's a really cool idea, Leila. Or that can be the outside and you can write on the inside. Oh yeah, it could be the outside of it. Okay, so the next craft we're going to show you is called a wind sock. Raise your hand if you know what a wind sock is because I had no clue what it was. All right, cool. So a wind sock is something that determines if, there's, if it's a windy day how the wind's blowing, and it's kind of something pretty that you can put out in your trees or in your patio, um, kind of like wind chimes, but instead it's just made out of fabric. And it doesn't make noise. And it doesn't make any noise. So Layla and I are gonna take you step by step through how to make a wind sock at home. And it's super easy and it's super fun. So the first thing you need is a recycled can of some sort. This is like a Folgers coffee can. It's all cleaned out. And the first thing you're gonna do is paint your can. So I found some cool colors. Um, I'm gonna use acrylic paint. Acrylic paint is a professional paint. Layla was using tempura paint, that's kids paint, um, but it's really good for crafts. This kind of paint, really shows up well on um, metal. metal, on recyclable things, stuff like that. So it all depends on what you're using. What paint. We're gonna use some white. I also like to keep my paint in jars. We're gonna use this cool blue. If it pours out. You add a little bit of water to it. All right, and then we're going to use a darker blue. And you can use any colors. Yeah, and you can use any colors you want. I just like the cool colors today because it's rainy and gloomy outside. Okay, so the first thing you do is I would take a really big brush. And we are just going to paint. Actually, Lily, you want to go grab a big brush and paint with me? Sure. Okay, Lily's going to go grab a big brush. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're just going to paint the outside of our can. Raise your hand if you've done an art craft during this quarantine time. George, I know you've made some art. Yeah, there you go. So next week, we're, we're going to be having another art show and tell. So be prepared for that. You guys can bring your art and show me virtually. Okay, so I'm going to paint the can white to start off with because white helps collect color way better. So if you start off with a white base, it's easier to see the other colors you're going to add on top of it. All right, 
so we have a white base. Now, Leela, pick a color, any color. All right, the blue one. So she's gonna pick the blue, I'm gonna pick the purple. And what do you wanna do? Pin the top. You wanna pin the top? Yeah, pin the top. All right, I'm just gonna go down here and do like cool, make it a light purple. So you can make this with a soup can. You can make this literally with anything. So when your mom is throwing away a can, say, no, I need it for my windsock. <laughs> I can't believe I had no idea what a windsock was. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna get the other side. So remember, this is a craft, so you're probably going to get a little dirty. Awesome. Okay, now I'm thinking we do like dark blue polka dots. Okay. So we're gonna do dark blue polka dots. We're just gonna do like circles. What do you say? Always rinse your brush. Layla caught me. All right. I just did my purple. All right, ready? Dip it in purple. Shoot, I'm gonna do purple polka dots. <laughs> All right. So we're just gonna make little circles or big circles, actually. Now I'm gonna take a smaller brush. Side could be purple, but that's one blue. There you go. Actually, I just took a little over here. Okay, that was cool. All right, so we always put our paintbrushes back in the water because we don't want to ruin our brushes. That's a huge rule at AOTL if you guys have been here before. All right, so we're going to let this dry. You can even use a blow dryer at home if you want it to dry faster. Okay, now we are going to pick really cool ribbon that we find around the house, or you can even cut a t-shirt. You can cut old fabric. You can use a string. You can on it. Yeah, you can honestly use string. So I found this really cool lacy stuff. We're really lucky because we're in a huge art studio. Um, so Layla's gonna just cut about a foot of fabric each. How many strips? Let's do four strips of those. And then this is called burlap. I found some of this, so I'm gonna cut some burlap. I know how to make um, an art class before uh -huh. coronavirus shut it down. <laughs> um, last year, me and my friend, we were still in the same class. Yeah. Um, we used a material like that, and we took some yarn and crocheted shapes into it. Whoa, that's so cool. I know Lauren likes to crochet. We use something that was like a potato. Bag. All right, Caitlin has a question, and I'm gonna let her talk for a second. Kate, I like to um do crochet too, but I do um knitting. Oh, you do knitting? I knit. Mm hmm. That's really cool. I loom. And I'm making. Oh this. yeah, you loom. 
That's cool. Oh, Are you cool? You should finish that by next Friday. Mm hmm. All right, good. Okay. I'll probably wait for this to dry. So, yeah, I know, but what are we going to do? We're still letting our can dry. <laughs> okay, we're going to cut. Now I have this like black fabric, which I thought was pretty. And I just dipped it in paint. Great job, B. All right, another fun thing about being an artist slash doing art, it does not have to be perfect. That's why I love art. It's a chance to let go. It's a chance to express yourself. I can't wait till all this is over so you guys can join me in the art studio. This is kind of curled up. Okay, so our next step, that's okay, it'll, it'll be kind of cool. Look how pretty this is. Okay, so our next step, you can use, if you have a hot glue gun at home, use that, be very safe. We have um, packaging tape, so we're going to use that. And then, or if you have glue, that could work too. But today we're going to use packaging tape. So I cut some strips out. And what we're going to do is I'm going to flip the can over. OK. And we are going to tape the strips that we just cut out to the can. So here's one strip or paint or strip of, strip of Tape. tape. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, <laughs> Lauren's laughing at me, I'm going to tape this to the can. Do we want to do a pattern or? Yeah, so we're going to do like, yeah, like every other. I hope you guys have a Layla at home because they're really smart. <laughs> oh, you already did it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna do, maybe not a pattern, but I'll do this one over here and then you can fill this with white. Art be white? Yeah. With the and then we can put some burlap, like here, I'll put one right here and then one right there. Okay, cool. I just wanna show you our process so far. Awesome. I would pre-cut your tape because it makes it go way faster. faster and easier. Just don't get it stuck in your hair. <laughs> yeah. Good thing I chopped my hair off. Your can is so wet, you want to kind of try to keep the strips away from it. Yeah. For this segment purpose, our can is still wet, but when you're at home, you'll have more time to dry it. Okay, so let's put another white one here. Okay. There you go. Oh, cool. Wait, I like, really like this. This is really cute. This is so cute. It's fun. Okay, and then Did we're gonna put one more. Oh, overlap them. We're gonna put one more white one right here in the corner. Because we only have one white. Okay. Okay, so when you have all those taped in, you're gonna flip it down. Kind of looks like an octopus. Yeah. Okay, so the next step is, I found this cool like strap. You can use whatever you like find. It's like a zipper. So will you hold that other side? Cool. So I'm gonna tape this down. If you use clear tape or glue, you won't be able to see it, so it's a good thing. Yeah, the paint probably isn't going to allow the tape to stay. Oh, but yeah. once this dries, we'll probably end up hot gluing it or yeah. taping it again. I wonder if it'll let me. 
don't know the people. Yeah, it might have worked. Okay. We're gonna do it like that. I'm gonna put one more piece of tape. We didn't cut enough. We didn't pre-cut enough tape, so we gotta. Okay. All right, hopefully it doesn't fall apart. Yeah. It'll stay for as long as we need it. Oh. Did it break already? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Our... We had a fail. Also, That's okay the because. Of it isn't gonna stay with the tape. That's okay because Professor Phil taught us that you must keep going, even if you fail. Even if it takes a whole entire roll of tape, <laughs> it will eventually stay. Okay, one more on the other side, what do you think? Yeah, the top up here is sort of dry-ish. Now I lost where the tape is. Oh no. Can you see it? Oh, I'm just going to find the tape for me. Yeah. A way to we keep... Can, we can dance for you. A way to keep the tape, um, you can put a paper clip there. So next time you use the tape, you'll be able to find the edge. Oh, thanks, Layla. Okay, now I'll try lifting it. Yay! Ooh, it's so cute! <laughs> I feel like really, guys. <laughs> this stays glue. We when you glue it, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna, it's gonna look blow in the wind. Really cool. And then you hang it up on a tree. And then it'll. When the wind blows that way, it'll go that way. Like blow, and it's yeah. <laughs> so cool. And then next on Friday when we have our art show and tell, I'll show you guys when it's nice outside. Hopefully, and you'll see it blowing in the wind. Audrey's fake wind right now. It's so cool. Tape. Okay, so the hype, the lesson we learned is you must never put tape on wet. You must make sure that. Your tape is, I mean, your paint is dry. Mm -hmm. And if you're gonna use tape, and that glue gun will probably work way better. Oh, another thing, if you're using a piece of paper to paint onto it, like I did, you can turn it into a little, you can fold it and then cut little shapes out of it. And glue them on your. Cool, and, and you can use that. them on your like cards or whatever. And then and the little okay. shapes that come out, yeah. you can use it to make other crafts. Oh yeah, and you can glue it to your windsock. Yep. Oh, George has a question. Cool. And the shapes might even come it's, out colored. It's not really a question, but when you're using a hot glue gun, speaking of be careful, uh -huh. I've been like burnt like twice or so, so <laughs> please wear some gloves. Oh, that's such a good idea. Please yeah. wear gloves when, when was, you have when I was making the floor when you're floor. using a hot glue gun. Yeah, good advice. Good advice, George. Thank you. All right, does anyone have a comment or a question? Caitlin? When you spray paint, wear gloves. Oh, yeah, and you could even spray paint it. Yeah. You can wear gloves and a mask. You can hydro dip it. What's hydro dipping? It's where you put water in a tub and then you put spray paint and then you dip stuff in it. Oh, that's really cool. Oh. That's cool. Don't use Good your bathtub. Question. Dude, that's a great that way to make mom mad. Do that outside. Yeah. Mr. Wolf, is everything okay? <laughs> huh? Um, <laughs> Caitlin, I'm going to mute you again. I'm going to mute you again. And then I think Gila has a question. All right, Gil. Gila, what's your question? I have a cake. That's that one. 
Oh, you're showing us something? If you want to show us stuff, make sure you come back next Friday, all right? You're number one fan. Okay, that's fine. That's right. Awesome. Does anyone have another question or does anyone have any craft ideas of their own? Okay, I'll unmute. I. Okay. One of the crystals I unmuted. One. Yeah, do you see I that you're unmuted? Oh, Kristen. Yes. Hey, Kristen. Hi. What's your, what's your question? Um, my family, um, my, my grandmother used to, used to paint and my aunt used to um, paint. They're really good at painting up wood because they're really good artists. And I'm trying to learn how to paint wood and stuff. Awesome. Oh, that's really cool. Are you going to spend some time trying to paint wood during quarantine? Well, if I find a really good um, shape of wood, I'm going to try to um, paint it and stuff. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Well, when, if you do figure that out, make sure you send us a picture or you join us next Friday if you figure it out by then, okay? All right. Sweet. All right, Caitlin. Do nail What's art. Up? Nail art. Oh, you want to learn like nail art? Like screen art. Oh, oh, cool. Oh, oh, I get what you're saying. So you put nails in the wood. Yeah. Make string art with it. Yeah. That's really cool. That's a good idea for when we come back to the studio, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Does anyone have any more questions for Audrey, me, or Layla? Kristen? Um, I like your um, hat and your headbands. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we like to oh, dress yeah. up. Um, oh, that's an awesome question. Has anyone dressed up or worn funny hats during this quarantine? No, I think, I think, I think we should have like a funny hat day or like a funny costume day. That'd be really cool. All right, you guys. Um, thank you for joining this AOTL segment. And I hope you keep making crafts and art at home. Have a great weekend. Um, tell everyone that you love that you love them. And we will see you next week. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye. Um, post. Cool. dress up day or, or wear, you know, funny hat, funny costume, whatever you want to do to liven it up. Normally Fridays are the best days to do those things before the weekend. Um, Layla, very impressed. You are incredibly talented. So we thank Aww. you for coming on here and some of your amazing skills. Very impressive. Um, always love our Art Outside the Line segments. Uh, we learn so much and it gives us very valuable exercises and activities to do right now so we can't thank them enough for that and we will now be taking a short break and then returning to our columbus program for our last segment of the day so again thank you art outside the lines layla audrey bianca we're awesome as always thanks everyone thanks. see ya thanks,